Hey guys, so today I am going to be filming my makeup collection declutter video. I'm going to be putting everything into four different piles I think. I'm going to have the stuff that I want to keep, the stuff that I don't use anymore that I'm going to give away to family and friends and then the stuff that is in really good condition I'm going to put in a huge giveaway and then I'm also going to have the pile of stuff that needs to go in the bin because it's probably a little bit out of date. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing today. If you want to see which products make it into the giveaway, stay to the end and that's also where I'll talk about it a bit more. So yeah, stay to the end if you want to enter the giveaway and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with this drawer here. This is my primers, foundations and concealers drawer. Oh, and like spray what do you call them? Setting sprays. Um, yeah, I'm going to start off with this drawer. It doesn't look too bad, but we can definitely downsize, especially in the foundation area. Don't need that many foundations, do I? I basically use the same one all the time, so I don't need that many. So yeah, I am going to start off with concealers. And the first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I use this quite a lot, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. And then another one that I use a lot, as you guys know, is the Collection Last Imperfection in the shade Zero. And then what have we got? Oh, actually, we've got some more of them. Why have I got so many? That is pretty much run out. Why did I keep it? You are going in the bag of doom. That's what we're going to call it, the bag of doom. <laughs> the Revolution Conceal and Define in the super size version. Again, I really like this one, so I'm going to keep that. Do I like this? I don't think anyone would want to win it in a giveaway, would they? <laughs> it's a bit gammy, like, oh, have my half-used concealer. The smell test. Oh, I think I've had that for a real, 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 okay. I think I've had that for a really long time, so I'm going to bin it. See ya. Ugh. Look at that sponge, that really doesn't look appealing. Ugh, crusty. What? How is that in the shade porcelain? It looks way too dark. Meh. Oh, I like this one, the EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer. Revolution Full Cover Camouflage Concealer. That one's really good, actually. That's really full coverage. I'll keep that one. I think I'm just going to get rid of all the concealer stick ones because I just don't like them. Goodbye. I just don't like stick concealers. Half of these are not landing in the bag. <laughs> What is this? I've had this for a really long time and it doesn't look too healthy, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> I forgot I had half of this, honestly, it just sits there. Just, this is why I'm doing this. No one's going to want that, so it's really difficult. Oh my goodness, again, I've had this for so long, that's got to go. These are all just so out of date, like, it's grim. Oh, yeah, same for you, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, I am actually narrowing it down quite well now. <laughs> Another lasting perfection. Can't bin that. It costs well loads of money. Ooh, things are rolling out. Oh, my drawers are grim. I'm so sorry. I'm actually rank. <laughs> So we've got the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. I've tried this once and I didn't like it, but it is relatively new. So I think I'll put that in the giveaway pile. The Ordinary Foundation, I think I, oh, be quiet. I think I really liked that one, so I'm gonna keep that as well. Then I've got the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I really like that one, so I'm gonna keep that. And I'm definitely gonna keep my favorite, which is the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour. I also really like this one. I'm gonna keep that one as well. Jeez, I am keeping a lot of these, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Goodness. remember when I used to use this all the time the Laura Mercier silk cream foundation I've got to keep it because it cost me like 40 quid there's no way I'm putting that in the bin jeez <laughs> the EX1 InvisiWear foundation I used to love that one didn't I I'm gonna keep that because it is a really good foundation this I don't think I've ever tried this bare minerals perform I'll keep that one what is going on here that cannot match me um I think that could be useful for when I'm fake tanned maybe I should keep it because I am tanning more often oh my god can you see that? Ew! I don't know if that is picking up on camera, but it's separated and part of it's gone green. Ew. Bin. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna keep- Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it just because I can't remember what I think of that one. Now we've got some stick ones, which again, I'm probably just gonna bin the sticks. Oh, that was a bit aggressive. Okay, so we've got two stick foundations here. They're both by Miss Sporty. I'm gonna get rid of them. I never use them and I just don't like sticks. <laughs> Looks like it would be way too dark for me and I know I've had it for so many years, so I am gonna get rid of it. It's at least four years old. Ooh, foundations are done apart from this. We've got the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I bought this just for my video recently. If you've seen it, you'll know which one I mean. Yeah, it's about 10 shades too dark for me, but I bought it. <laughs> Look at it. So I've also got a Nip and Fab foundation. Oh, a mixer. I was like, how is that a foundation? I mean, I know I'm pale. That's taking the piss bit. Is a mixer. That could come in handy. Oh, I've also got this. This is the Dermacol foundation, but I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Ew. Oh my 
goodness it like leaks oil can you see on my finger it's just leaking oil out of it this is why you should sort through your makeup more often don't do it every four years it's disgusting <laughs> So yeah, now on to setting sprays. I don't really have that many, but this is the one that I use all the time. It's the Body Shop setting spray. This is old. I've had this for too long. I think that's got to go in the bin. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I got that in the advent calendar, so it's not old, but I don't use it. So I will put that in the giveaway. And then I've also got these iconic London uh, Prep Set Glow Mists. And I really like this one. This is the lighter one, so I'm gonna keep that. But I will put the bronzier one in the giveaway so one of you guys can win it because I don't need both of them. So yeah, you guys can have one of them. And then I think this is primers and stuff like that so i've got the oh balls i don't really use primers that much so this is difficult i think i'm gonna give that away i've never even tried it i don't think anyone would want that because i have shoved my fingers in most of the colors i think i'm just gonna put all of them in a giveaway there's four of them in total oh, everything's falling the mua pro base banana primer if i'm gonna use a primer i'd probably use this one because it's banana and i love bananas so i am gonna keep that one and then again if i want to use a primer i might use this one as well it's the mua pro base primer oil with gold flakes so i mean i'm gonna keep that one i think i'm gonna keep that because it smells amazing and i like to sniff it <laughs> oh this one hasn't even had the foil taken off of it ever. <laughs> i got so excited then i couldn't even talk this one hasn't even had the foil taken off of it so you guys can have this one in a giveaway it's just the original benefit professional do you want this one anyway the big one go on you can have it anyway if you don't <gasps> If you win the giveaway and you don't want anything that's been used, just let me know and I'll take all of those bits out. But yeah, I'll keep this little one for myself. And this is the Body Shop Honey Bronze Drops. I think I'm going to keep that as well. That could definitely be useful. And then the Body Shop Illuminating Drops of Glow. Then we've got a couple of these CYO Illuminating Mixing Creams. Hmm, which one haven't I used? I think this one looks, yeah, this one's completely clean. So I'll put Put the, I'll put that one in the giveaway for you guys. And then I've got a couple of these MUA Prism Strobe Creams. I haven't even opened them, so I'll put both of them in the giveaway for you guys. I've got three of these Revolution Color Correctors. Oh my God, these were so fun. They're like little cushions. Oh my goodness, I'm keeping them. And then I've got three of these Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correctors. Again, I don't really use color correctors, but I just can't get rid of these because I know they're expensive. Okay, so that is that drawer done oh my knees i've been sat on my knees for too long draw number one is done i'm gonna give it a bit of a clean and then i'm gonna pop everything back inside This is drawer number one complete. I feel like it looks so much better. I'm so happy with it. We've got rid of so much stuff that had gone off and was out of date. I'm very happy and yeah, draw number one is complete. Okay, so draw number two is powders, bronzers, and blushes. I feel like this one isn't too bad. I feel like it doesn't look too bad, but we can definitely get rid of some stuff. So I'm gonna start off with powders. They kind of go all the way across here. So let's start with these ones. Obviously, this is the one that I use the most. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I am 100% keeping that one. I can't remember, I think I liked this one. I'm gonna keep that, I remember liking it. Oh, is this the multicolored one? Can't even bloody open it. Yeah, oh my goodness, look at that. Things like that are not meant to go in the bin. It just looks a bit gross, it's a bit old. I think I'm probably gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I used it for the video where I had to use wet brushes and it completely destroyed this powder. Like, yep, that needs to go in the bin. We've got the N, N, Y, oh, NYX. <laughs> This is the one that I used again in a testing video. Or oh, what was it? I think it was subscribers choose my makeup. I um, <laughs> I put this all over my face and it's like a holographic powder. This is the Kiko powder. This is really good actually. I like this one a lot. So I'm gonna keep that. And then we've got these three revolution powders. We've got the ghost finish, the banana and the lace. And this one I do like. I don't know. I don't think I've ever really used this one because it's just way too dark for me. So I'll pop that in the giveaway. And then this one, it's just so gross. I cannot give that to one of you. It's disgusting. So I think I'm just going to keep it for myself anyway. And then I've also got the RCMA No Color Powder. I don't really use it, but I believe it is really good. So maybe I should use it. <laughs> now I'm going to move on to bronzers and contoury bits. So um, 
I can't remember what I thought of that. I feel like I wouldn't really use it. I don't know. And then I've got this iconic London bron- Look at that. Bloody hell. I think this is for your body. We've got the good old Body Shop Honey bronzer, which is just a good old classic. Got to give it a little stroke. <sighs> this is the Ciate London- uh, Yeah, Ciate London- Oh, I nearly stabbed it. Bronzer. I used to use this a lot. It is actually really good. So I am going to keep that one as well. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. It's just a bit too orangey for me and a bit too warm toned. See you later. This is the Miss Forty Insta Glow Glow Glow. <laughs> You're right, love. It looks quite pretty, doesn't it? It's all like shimmery and nice. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Oh, the classic Soap and Glory Solar Powder. I just feel like it shouldn't be put on my face anymore. I've had it for like th for three years. I think that's just way past its date. Oh no, 36 months. Wait, I've got to do maths now. That is three years. <gasps> um, ah, the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. I've not even tried this yet. So it's all nice and smooth. Yeah, I need to give that a go. So I will be keeping that one. I've got the Benefit Hula and the Benefit Hula Light. I'm going to keep both of those. Now these are the like contour sticks. This is the CYO contour stick. That one's not dried out and I think it was actually quite good. So maybe I will keep that one. That one doesn't look used. That one does look used. So I'm going to get rid of that one because it's so old. This one's never even been used. So I might put that one in the giveaway in case you want it. And then these are my blushes. So I've got the one that I use the most at the moment. It's the Soap and Glory Love at First Blush. It's very good. So I'm going to keep that one. And then I've got my Kiko blush, which again, it's, it's quite a bright one, but I do kind of like it. So I'm going to keep that. And then I've got the Revolution Opalence blush. I don't even know how you say that, which looks a little bit like this. Again, it's quite bright, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Um, oh, these are actually quite decent. I don't like cream blushes, but these are decent. They're the Rosie for Autograph cream blush thing so i've got two of them i'm losing my bloody voice i'm only on draw number two jeez this is the Stila watercolor blush a little bit vibrant for me so i'm gonna pop that in the giveaway in case any of you guys like it and then i've got oh yeah i don't really like this one this is the mua pixel perfect blush and i sniffed it in a video recently and it actually smelled really bad so i'm gonna bin that i don't really i don't think i've ever really used that so i'll put that in the giveaway because it looks quite fancy actually oh i heart makeup blushing hearts thing it's actually quite pretty, so I will keep that one. This one smells like peaches. Oh, 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 it still smells like peach. This is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. What about these little ones? I just feel like I never use stuff like this. I never use them and they're really old, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of them. This one looks quite nice. This is the Miss Sporty Insta Glow Blusher. It looks quite pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This is a good one. This is the NYX blush in rose gold. I'm definitely gonna keep that one. This I have had for so many years. I think I got this just before I started my channel. I would never put that on my face now. I can't imagine what damage it might do because it is so old. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to bin it. These, however, are not old. These are the Benefit Gold Rush blushes. I've got a big one and a mini one. So I've definitely not touched the mini one. So I'll give you guys that one in the giveaway, but I'll keep this bigger one for myself. And then I've got these three Soap and Glory blushes. These are so old, but I just, I can't get rid of them these were like the classic blushes that i used to use when i first started doing makeup videos and i gotta keep them for the memories guys i can't i can't get rid of them <laughs> oh my god i'm sentimental over blushes what is wrong with me so same again i'm just gonna clean the drawers out a little bit and then i'm gonna pop everything back So that is drawer number two complete and I'm now going to move on to number three which is probably going to be the absolute worst out of all of them. I'm not kidding you. Number three is pretty dreadful. <laughs> this is drawer number three. Welcome to hell. Um, <laughs> this is an absolute mess. We've got highlighters, mascaras, eyebrow products and then like eyeliners, lashes at the back. 
it's just a bit chaotic in here. So I really want to narrow this down quite a bit. I'm going to start with this guy. This is the Ofra Highlighter in Glazed Donut. This is the one that I always use. So hell nah, I'm not getting rid of that one. You guys ain't having that. I'm sorry. If I can clean up the packaging, I might put that in the giveaway because I definitely don't use it. I've got a couple of these baked highlighters by Barry M. I don't think I've ever used these. So I'm going to pop both of them in the giveaway. The Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. I do like this one. One, so I'm gonna keep that one. I've got a load of these MUA highlighters and I mean they're such good highlighters but I just don't really use coloured ones so I've got all of these different colours but I'm gonna put these three coloured ones in the giveaway. This is the I Heart Makeup Unicorn highlighter. I mean come on. I could never get rid of this. This is my makeup obsession highlighter in Moon. I've got these L'Oreal True Match highlighters. I've had these since like 20 15 or something ridiculous so I think I'm gonna bin them I, they're just way too old the revolution rainbow highlighter again it's rainbow so I it's staying. The Revolution Ingot Highlighter, I think that one's pretty good as well, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this is the Giant Revolution Skin Kiss in Ice Kiss. The MUA Prism, oh right, she's rolling about. This one's actually pretty good, so I'm gonna keep that. Could be good when I'm fake tanned, so I'm gonna keep that one. The Models Own Shimmer Highlighter Sticks. I've not even opened these, so I'll pop them in the giveaway in case you guys wanna use them. These are the Ciate Highlighters. These are actually both so nice. I used to use this one a lot. This is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that one. It's like a nice subtle highlighter. Now I've got some more stick highlighters. This is the MUA Prism thing. Oh, I've not even used that. So again, that can go in the giveaway. That's gone off. That's like melted a little bit. And it, ugh. I think that one's gonna have to go in the bin. Now this is the first highlighter product that I ever bought. It's the Benefit High Beam and I just can't get rid of it because it is my number one first one. Even though I would never put it on my face now because it's so old and oh my god. <laughs> it's actually disgusting. So now we've got a load of liquid highlighters. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a liquid highlighter and I've never actually tried that. So if you guys want it, feel free to have it. I'm going to put it in the giveaway. I've never used these either. These are the Laura Gala Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops and I've got a couple of them. So I might pop them in the giveaway as well because I have not even tried them. I, they look like they need a bit of a shake, but I'm sure they'll be fine. They're not that old. Oh, and I've got another one here as well in a slightly darker shade. So if I was going to use a liquid highlighter, I would use these. These are the... These are the iconic illuminator drops. I've got like a lighter one and a slightly bronzier one. So I'm gonna keep both of them because yeah, if I was gonna use a liquid highlighter, I would definitely go for those. These haven't even been opened. These are the MUA Light Luster liquid highlighters. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever used them so I can put them in the giveaway as well. Sorry, but you're gonna have so many liquid highlighters. <laughs> Oh, and there's another one as well in a slightly lighter shade. Oh, I've got another iconic illuminator drops thing. Okay, which one haven't I used? I don't think this one's been used and like the packaging looks in pretty good condition. So I will put this one in the giveaway. There you go. You get to try one of my fave liquid highlighters because I definitely don't need two of them. The Revolution Liquid Highlighter. Oh no, that one's actually pretty decent. I'll keep that one as well. None of these have even been opened. So I'm going to pop all of these in the giveaway. They are the model's own glow for it glitter drops they look really shimmery but yeah i'll pop those in the giveaway as well okay so now for mascaras obviously i'm not going to give away any used mascaras it's just going to be the ones that haven't been opened for example this is the wet n wild xxl lash mascara so it's not even opened it's still got cellophane on it so i'll pop that straight in the giveaway because i just don't need any more mascaras this is my absolute favorite it's the kiko standout mascara so i'm going to keep that one this is the maybelline colossal mascara i'm gonna keep that one as well and this one is the lancome monsieur big mascara again i really like that one so i'm gonna keep that the benefit their real mascara again is a really good one or is this empty i never know oh no oh that one's quite full and then also benefits bad gal bang mascara is a really good one so i'm gonna keep that oh my god am i gonna keep all of them this is the primark mascara that i really like this is the false lash effect one i think that one's gonna have to go in the bin it's pretty dead but that is actually a really good one benefit roller lash is that one empty no i can still hear some wet sounds <laughs> I'll keep that one as well. Wait, I've got another one of these. Another colossal thing. Okay, that one is definitely old and disgusting. So I'll get rid of that one. What the? <laughs> it's like 
It's like refusing to open. No. Well, that's going in the bin then, she can't even bloody open it. Okay, now onto eyebrow products. I've got the Benefit Browsings Brow Powder. I think I'll keep that one just because um, if I was gonna use a brow powder, I might go for that one. I've got a couple of these Benefit Brow Pomades. I've got shade two and shade three, but I think I'm just gonna keep both of them because I do actually really like using those. Good old Benefit Gimme Brow. I use this pretty much all the time. This is also one of my new favorite eyebrow products. It's the Soap and Glory Archery 2-in-1 Brow thing. It's the one with the setting gel on it. This is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I feel like I didn't really like it that much, but I mean, it's like a fun clicky pen. I just want to keep it because it's cool. So. <laughs> Great reason. The Freedom Pomade. This is quite like a dark one. Yeah, that's pretty useful if I ever want to do really dark eyebrows. So I'm going to keep that one. And then we've got the good old Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Oops, look how gross it is though. Like honestly, it's pretty much dried out, but I feel like there must be a way I can save it. Nah, I don't think I would ever use that, honestly. That is definitely empty. There is nothing left in that. I used to use it all the time, but that is empty. So I'm going to bin that. And then these are honestly just a load of different brow pencils. I'm not going to bore you. I just don't need all of these. What the hell is this? Revolution. Oh, that's that tattoo thing again. That's another semi-permanent one. I was like, what on earth is that? <laughs> Oh, and then I've also got this Wet n Wild eyebrow kit. Have I even opened that? No, I haven't even opened it, so I'll pop that in the giveaway. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to this one, which, oh! Again, I'm not going to bore you too much with this bit because there are so many different pencils in there, but, like, literally, look, they go all the way down and I just don't need them because I never use eyeliner pencils like that. I don't think you guys want to see all of these, do you? Oh, why? Why am I getting so leery? It's because I'm getting hungry. It's nearly dinner time. Um, <laughs> okay, so I've sorted out all of the eyeliners. And then in here, we've got like liquid eyeshadows. This is a glitter glue by MUA. This is pretty handy if I'm ever doing like a makeup video. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through these. And if they still have the cellophane on, like I'm putting it in the giveaway. And if not, I will probably just keep it just in case I ever need them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do that quickly. Okay, so these are all going in the giveaway and then the rest of them I'm just gonna keep. I've got a little um, Benefit sharpener. Don't know why that's in there. I ain't gonna be sharpening me eyelashes. <laughs> I don't think these have been used, so I'll pop those in the giveaway for you guys. I'm sure I'll be able to find some glue as well that I haven't used. Oh, these haven't been used either. Do you want these? <gasps> they come with some glue. Yeah, I'll put these in the giveaway as well. Or not, apparently it wants to stay. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of them are all used and some of them are missing eyelashes. They're just, yeah, I need to sort through these. Okay, so this has taken me so much longer than I thought it would. Alex is nearly home from work and it's getting dark and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna finish filming this tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you guys again in the morning. <laughs> I can't believe how bloody long this is taking. Okay, so good morning everyone. It's now the next day. I've put the same clothes on just so the whole video kind of flows a little bit better. But yeah, it is now the next day and I need to continue with my makeup declutter. So where do we get to? Well, it's pretty obvious where we got to. I need to put the things back in drawer number three. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so drawer number three is finally complete. I feel like that one was the biggest challenge. It was just awful, but it looks so much better now. We've got rid of so many highlighters and now we shall move on to number four, which is the lipstick drawer. So drawer number four is filled with lip products and it looks a little bit like this. It actually doesn't look too messy, but we can definitely downsize. I do not need all of these. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, I'm gonna start with this little pot here. This is like the stuff that I'd wear the most slash my MAC lipsticks live there. Apart from this guy, why are you not special? Probably because it doesn't fit in there. But yeah, I've got my MAC lipsticks and then I've got the Soph Revolution lipsticks. I've got all three of them. I've got these lipsticks that I used in the Cat Chooses My Look For The Day video. And 
and loads of you actually asked what brand it was. It's the brand Winky Lux. I've, I've never heard of it before, but yeah, I'm gonna keep the one that I used because obviously I don't think it's good to give away used lip products and it was kind of nice. So I'm gonna keep that one, but I'm gonna give away the three that I didn't use because they're just not in shades that I would ever use. They're like pinks and reds. So I'm gonna put those three in the giveaway. I've got a couple of Kiko lip glosses. They haven't even come out of the packaging. So I'm gonna put those in the giveaway because as you know, I never really use lip glosses. I've got these Models Own Lip Glaze things. Again, I don't think I've ever even tried them. So I'll pop those in the giveaway. This giveaway is getting really large. I think I'll keep most of these like nude lip things, whatever you, what are they called again? Li liquid lipsticks. I think I'll keep most of these because they're all in the shades that I would use. And yeah, I think I'll keep all of them. I've also got a couple in some kind of crazier colors, but I think they're useful for some like transformation videos and stuff like that. I didn't even know I had one of these. What? And then same for all of the ones on this side. I think I'm just gonna keep all of these, it's good to have them in lots of different colours, again, just for makeup videos. And then I've got a bunch of these Urban Decay lip glosses. I know I don't use lip glosses, but yeah, I just don't think I could bring myself to get rid of Urban Decay stuff because that's like, you know, fancy fancy. But <laughs> I've also got a load of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipsticks. These are really, really good, actually. These are some of my favourites, so I'm definitely going to keep all of those as well. Wow, we're really not narrowing it down much in this drawer, are we? I feel like I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff. I think a lot of them are very old. I mean, some of them I'm gonna keep, but I'm just gonna try and work out which ones are not about five years old. <laughs> all of these are just absolutely ancient. Like, honestly, I think they've gotta go. And then these are just a load of lip liners. I think I'm gonna keep all of them because sometimes they might come in handy for videos and I think most of them have been used. So I doubt you guys want them. So I'm gonna just keep all of those. Yeah, so these are just a load of lip glosses and oh my goodness, I've had these for way too long. These have gotta be past, these have gotta be past their date. Oh, hey, we've got a Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Well, we definitely can't get rid of that. That's fancy. <laughs> Again, some of these are just so old. What is that? These just look a little bit crazy. I feel like you probably don't want these, but you can have them anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. I think oh, it's flying all over the place. And then this is just filled with random lipsticks. There is no organization here. They're just all dumped in there. So I think a lot of these, especially the ones down here, are gonna have to go in the bin because some of these are so old. I mean, this one, who remembers? What is it called again? <laughs> Who remembers? I don't even remember. So I've got a bunch of these Miss Sporty lipsticks and a lot of them I haven't even opened. So if they haven't been opened, I'm just gonna pop a bunch of them in the giveaway. Like for example, this one hasn't even been opened. So, okay, so these are the non-opened ones. So these are going in the giveaway. Oh my goodness, sorry, my voice is so croaky. Um, Yeah, I it's hard to tell. I don't think I've really used any of these. So I could definitely put all of these in a giveaway if you want, because I most definitely do not need all of them. And there we go, that is drawer number four. That didn't actually take too long, so, oh, that wasn't like a wee stain or anything, obviously. <laughs> That was just like a little leakage. I don't know where that came from. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean this one up and then I'm gonna put everything back. So that has definitely downsized it quite a lot. And there's even some space down the side now. So when I go through my PO Box stuff, I should be able to actually put some of my lip products away. So that will be amazing. So yeah. So we're now gonna sort out my palettes and this drawer doesn't even shut properly. It's so like, it's overflowing so much. So I really wanna cut this down quite a bit. Obviously I'm gonna keep Soph's highlighter palette. I don't normally use my palettes because this drawer is just such a mess. I never go in here. I'll always use like an individual highlighter. But I feel like if I sort it out, I will actually use stuff in here more. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep Soph's highlighter palette with revolution i never use eyeshadows but but it just feels so nice i can't get rid of that definitely keeping it yeah i don't know why i put stuff back in the box afterwards i'm a bit weird <laughs> but i think we knew that already didn't we i don't think i have used it i need to give this a try oh my goodness love a bit of magnetic 
stuff. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep that. Oh my god, it's so chunky and it just feels so nice. <laughs> Naked cherry. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Those are colours that I might use if I was going to wear eyeshadow. So I will keep that one. It could come in handy for a video. Oh, hello. Are you here to help? Okay. This is actually really handy if I am doing a makeup video with like fancy makeup because it's a pressed glitter palette from Revolution. So I am going to keep that one. That looks well nice. This is a Bare Minerals highlighter palette. Yeah, I think I might put that in the giveaway. I've never used it before, but honestly... I don't think I ever will because I've got so many highlighters. So I will put that in the giveaway for one of you because that looks quite nice. Rainbow height. Oh my goodness, I remember that. I think I'm going to get rid of that. It's quite old and I just don't think I'd ever use it. This has like a really good contour thingy. So I'm definitely going to keep that and look at that packaging. Barely touched it, but I, I'm not going to bin it because, you know, it costs me money. <laughs> I feel like this could come in handy for a video if I needed some like bright blues and stuff. I mean, I don't know why I would, but I, I think I'm just gonna keep that anyway because you know. So I do use this quite often actually. It's the Nip and Fab Contour Palette. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. Again, still in the box. So, oh my goodness. Oh my, wow, that packaging. <gasps> yeah, they look pretty cool. I, I've never tried them, but I think I will give them a go. I've clearly swatched that one because there is a little mark on it. But apart from that, I don't think I've ever used this. So I am gonna put this one in the giveaway. Way. I've got both of Soph's, uh, what are they called? Eyeshadow palettes with Revolution. Obviously, I'm definitely going to keep both of those. <gasps> I remember that. Yeah. I don't think that one was very good. I'm going to get rid of that. Lottie London Shimmer Squad. Yep. Yeah, this is a really good highlighter palette. So I'm going to keep that one as well. The Sleek Highlighter Palette. This one's actually really good. So I'm going to keep that one. Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. I think I'm going to keep that as well. These are the MUA Prism Jelly Highlighters. And I don't know, I haven't even taken them out of the packaging. So I think I'll pop those in the giveaway. I know they're slightly crazy colours, but someone out there might want them. And then I've got these giant revolution palettes. These are highlighter palettes, I think. I'm just going to keep them. They might come in handy one day. Yeah. Oh, another one. This is like a contour palette, I think. Oh, that one's got like creams in it. So I don't think I would use that. Oh, smells pretty nice. Uh... Yeah, it looks all right. I think I'll keep that one. I think that's gonna have to go. <laughs> I've got a couple of these Revolution hashtag Revaholic Eyes eyeshadow palettes. They've got some pretty good colors in there. I feel like they could come in useful. I've got a couple of models own eyeshadow palettes. Thing is I don't wear eyeshadow, but these could come in handy for videos and stuff. Oh, I haven't even tried this. This is a Primark eyeshadow palette and I thought they looked really good for autumn. Did I try it in autumn? No. So we're going to keep that and I'm going to try it next autumn, <laughs> which is bloody ages away, but I will do it. Uh, yeah, looks like I haven't touched it. So I'll pop that one in the giveaway. It looks like I've touched one of them, but I think I'll just pop that one in the giveaway. That one also hasn't been touched. So I'll put that in the giveaway as well. I just, yeah, I don't need it. I've got so many eyeshadows. I really don't need all of these. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't need them. Revolution blush palette. That's quite nice. I will keep that one. The, oh, the Tarte, Tarteiste. I can never pronounce that. Blush palette. This was like one of my first fancy blush palettes that I got. So I will keep that forever. Revolution blush palette again. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I think think that's pretty old. I think I'll just get rid of that and it's broken anyway. Oh, that's like an old concealer thing. Oh, that's pretty dried out. I think I'll get rid of it. That's definitely been used for some kind of challenge video because it looks like it's been destroyed. So I'll get rid of that one. I've got a ton of these Revolution eyeshadow palettes and I think most of these have been used so I can't really give them away. So I may as well just keep them so they don't go, you know, it just seems sad to bin stuff when there's loads of products still in there and it's not out of date. This one's quite new this is the kiko eyeshadow palette oh that's well nice i'll keep that one wet and wild eyeshadow palette i don't think i've even opened that so i'll put it in the giveaway i used to love this this is by maybelline and yeah i will probably just keep that a couple of these kiko jelly jungle eyeshadow palettes they haven't even come out the packaging i'll just bung them in the giveaway for you guys oh no collection eyes uncovered palettes i've had them for such a long time that one definitely needs to go in the bin you can tell i went through a phase where i did so many many testing videos because <laughs> it's just so many different brands um i think i'll just keep that as well too faced sweet peach palette oh, done, uh, 
still smells kind of like peach. I will keep that one. Oh, these are my old classic favorites. I used to use these when I first started doing makeup videos. I just think they're a little bit old now. I've had them since like 2015, I think. So I think I'll get rid of those. And then finally, the big old Morphe palette. It's the, oh, I never say it right. Is it the 350, the 350, the 350? Who knows? Don't really care. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I know I always used to get it wrong when I said it in a video. <gasps> Bloody hell. Got to keep that. There's many, many colours in there. So, yeah, those are my eyeshadows all sorted out. Going to give this one a clean. Again, we've got a nice stain there. Lovely. So that is drawer number five complete. We even have space this time for more. Like before I couldn't even shut it. Now I can most definitely shut it and we've got space for extras. So that is so much better. That definitely needed doing and look, ah, it shuts so easily now. Yay! So this is where I put any makeup products that I receive in my peer box that I can't fit in my drawers. That is just building up and up and up because I'm not actually testing any of it. So I may as well just sort through it and put some of it in my drawers and give some of it away to you guys because I definitely don't need all of this. Like obviously I'm so grateful that I get sent these things and everything in this section has been gifted to me just so you guys know. I've got these three Beauty Bay palettes in, cl 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 <laughs> in collaboration with Saffron Bar. I haven't even tried these yet, but I am gonna give them a go. Maybe I could give one of them to you guys. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I'm not sure which one yet, but I'll definitely put one of these in the giveaway and then I'll keep the other two because I need to give them a go. I've got these three Beauty Bow palettes. These are their like massive, huge, giant ones. Um, I think I'll keep all of these because I feel like they could definitely come in useful. Like if ever there's a color that I need for a video, I'm definitely gonna find it in these. So yeah, I'll keep hold of those. I've got a bunch of Little Mix makeup. Oh my goodness, we've got an entire pack of like lip kits. So yeah, I'll put some of those in the giveaway. I've also got this, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I think I'll just pop that entire thing in the giveaway because I don't really need it. I feel like one of you guys might like it. This is a little collection. What have we got in there? Lip glosses, liquid highlighters. Um, I think I'll open that up and pop them in the giveaway as well. These are, oh, these are like glitter for your face and your body and then a glitter primer as well. I think I'll pop those in the giveaway. I don't think I would ever really use stuff like that. Um, I've never even tried this. I might just pop that in the giveaway because as we know, I've got way too many eyeshadows, but yeah, it looks like a really nice one. I think this is another palette again. This is, oh, this is like a base makeup palette. So again, I think I might put that in the giveaway as well. And then I've just got a bunch of these lashes. I have tried quite a few of them and I've just popped them back in the box but yeah I think I'll hang on to all of these as I have been trying to learn how to do lashes recently. I've also got a spare of all of Soph's products that she's ever released because basically I'll always buy the products as soon as they're out and then like a week later I've received them in my peer box because obviously Revolution have kindly sent them to me. I feel like I could give you guys these because they've oh, They've not even been opened. Like these are still in the cellophane. This was a little PR box from Benefit. Yeah, I'll have a look through this and I'll pop some of these bits in the giveaway because I definitely don't think I'd use all of them. In fact, I definitely won't use the eyeliners. And then this is another Benefit PR box. This was in collaboration with Anna Saccone and it's the Supernatural Brows. So we've just got a bunch of eyebrow products in here. Again, I'll have a look through if there's anything that I don't think I'll use. I'll pop it in the giveaway. These are some more Beauty Bay palettes. I don't know. Oh, this is their highlighter palette. I still haven't tried this, but yeah, I definitely need to give that a go at some point. So down here, we've just got a bunch of foundations and concealers that have been sent to me because sometimes brands will send the product in every single shade so that you can make sure you get your shade. I mean, I can't really give away foundation because how am I going to know which one will match you? So I basically need to distribute these around people that I know and stuff like that. So I need to do that. I've got this. Oh yeah. I literally got this in my PO box a few days ago. It's the EOS Crystal Lip Balm. I don't think I've ever had an EOS Lip Balm. So this is like well exciting to me. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh my god. It feels so nice. <gasps> I love that. Okay. Okay. I can't hold all of these up because I'm just dropping them, but I've got a bunch of these Kiko water flower magic products. We've got a highlighter palette, a brush, a bronzer, a blush. Oh my goodness. There's enough here to do like a full face. A what? A foundation pigment, a lipstick, I think, and a mascara and a lip oil okay i definitely need to give those a go this is a pr box from pixie i think is that the brand yeah pixie and oh my goodness these are like little pots to make okay little pots to make your own lip color i think but they also sent me all of these so yeah luckily i now have space in my lipstick drawer so i can pop them down the side where i had the gap this is another little kiko package i think i have looked at this but yeah this is their sweetheart range these are actually adorable look at the packaging they are so cute so we've got a little baked highlighter wait i've got to show you look how cute they are they are actually adorable so yeah i need to have a little look through those and i might put some of those bits in the giveaway i'm not sure i need to have a good look we've got a highlighter a blush an eyeshadow palette a lip gloss and also ugh, an eye kit so yeah i'll have a little look through those and that is everything in my little p i say little my big pr basket so i hope that was interesting those are just some little additional bits i'm now going to go through everything and decide which bits i'm going to put in the giveaway and then we're done yay so I've just put all of the giveaway prizes in this basket just for the time being to keep them out of the way and oh my goodness there is no way I can give all of this stuff to one person like that is just a ridiculous amount of makeup it's just like it's not even just what you can see there's more stuff underneath it like goes down deep I think I might have to do like three winners and just kind of split it as evenly as I can three winners it means there's more of a chance that you'll win and I'll split this as evenly as I can between three people i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do that's what i've got to do because this is just mad it's there's so much stuff so yeah these are your prizes and if you want to know how to enter just go and have a read of the description box and i'll have it all written there thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video or maybe you found it really relaxing i don't know or maybe you're just excited for the giveaway give it a thumbs up if you are excited good luck and yeah i'll see you very very soon goodbye